What's up guys, as you guys can see, we got an absolutely amazing meal in front of us. This was actually a catfish, and he was alive about, I'd say, 20, 30 minutes ago. So if you guys want to see how we cook them and how we caught them, stay tuned because we're about to show you that. And we also got the man, the myth, the legend, Juju here with us. AKA Pan Fish Master, just so you know. <laughs> Pan Fish Master. You guys always comment about how you want to see him in the videos and he decided to come out today with us. Anytime in the video, actually, if you guys are liking it and want to see more videos like this, go ahead and drop a like. Maybe even if you guys haven't watched any of our videos before, subscribe weekly outdoor videos to the minimum. Absolutely amazing day, amazing meal. If you guys want to see how we did all this, stay tuned and enjoy. So this lake right here is full of catfish. They just actually stocked it. And today we're actually targeting those catfish. They also stock bluegill or they look like it's a lot of green sunfish or something in here. So those are always like a backup plan. We're gonna go ahead and try to get these catfish. If we do, like I said, we're gonna cook them up. You ready to catch some bluegill? Yeah. Some catfish? Yep. Gonna cook them up? Mm -hmm. They're gonna taste good? Yep. So we ready to catch them? You already what know. What are you gonna catch them on? Warm. Are you ready? You sure? Yeah. You don't look you're ready yet. I'm always ready. <laughs> they just stocked this place with bluegill. They're everywhere. So you're gonna be targeting the bluegill at first, yeah? Yeah. We're gonna be using just worms. Mm -hmm. It's like a Kentucky rig. Yeah. Worms. <laughs> These flies are attacking us. Little size 12 hook, some worms, threading it on there, gonna make it look nice and juicy. And they just put a lot of big bluegill in a here. A little so. dangle. Yep, nice. Let's see if you can get one first cast. Look at first cast. Just lift it up. Give it a little swing. What'd you cast? Oh, way out there. You got one. First cast, huh? I just stopped filming, but I was taking you pictures just of you. Filming on the first thing, <laughs> well, they're biting that good. Let him go. He's kind of small. <laughs> and catch another one. <laughs> Last year they put some big ones in here. Last year they were like half a pound. There's some bigger ones in here though. That one's kind of a small one. Ah, oh, he just got lucky. I never heard Let's see if you can do it again. Do it faster this time though. Two casts in a row. Let's see if you can do it. I won't stop recording this time though. Can he do it? Oh, yeah, got him. got him. That one's a little better. Wait, what one is that? That's not, yeah, you trying yeah. to kill him? Looks like it has the body they of a bass. It must not like that, yeah. It has, it's that big mouth, grab him like a bass. You guys comment down below what species is this? Is it a warm mouth, a green sunfish? We've been seeing these quite a bit lately and uh, we're not quite sure, so. Awesome. Juju, the panfish master. All right, I'm gonna start getting rigged up now. Double hook. Double Carolina rig. Extra fat crawl. I'm going for catfish. I'm trying to yeah. get some catfish for dinner. So on this pole right here, we've got worms set up. It's a uh, Kentucky rig. It's got two worms. This one, Kentucky rig, two hooks also, and uh, two hot dogs. So we're just going to throw a little bit of variety at these catfish, see what they're biting. And yeah, that's about it. That's all we're doing. I'm just going to stick them in here. If I can, one hand. Let me set this rod down really quick. This dirt's pretty hard, but. Hold on. Put the rods in there and now it's just a waiting game. See if these catfish will come around and bite. So I'll tell you what, if you catch a big enough bluegill or whatever, we're gonna have to throw it into the, the catch and cook also. We're gonna cook up the catfish and just throw a little bluegill in there also. See how he ends up tasting, yeah? Okay, eyes closed. Eyes closed? Oh no, oh no. They're looking at it. 
Oh, eyes closed and all. <laughs> that's a good size. That's a better size one. Hey man, take it easy on the bluegill, will you? You're gonna, yep. We're gonna use up all the worms before we even get to catch any catfish. Yeah. So we're going to the other side of the lake. We're gonna look for some big boys that we can fry up. See those? There's a couple right there. They look a little too small. I'm looking for big ones. Thank you, thank you. It's awesome. We watch it all the time. What are you guys fishing for? Uh, my brother's catching bluegill. I'm out here out trying to catch a couple catfish, but okay. the bite's kind of tough right now. Yeah. Yeah, but good luck. Good luck. Nice meeting you. So I was down trying to catch some big bluegill, but I just caught a big one. And um, senior saw a catfish off the edge, and literally, he was a little bit far from me, so I couldn't film it, but got a catfish. This one's going to be the one that we're going to cook up for this catch and cook now. And should taste delicious looks a little beat up but i'm sure he'll still be fine but there's also we got that now we got a bluegill here a big bluegill you guys can see i caught this one caught that bluegill nice size bluegill and that catfish it's time to start cooking so we just did the sco challenge um since the outdoors challenge we caught three fish in 60 seconds and that's going to be put on our instagram actually so you guys want to go see that Go, give it, go check it out. It's going to be pretty cool. So we're actually going to go find some grills. And uh, we're going to clean them in our truck bed. And we're going to go cook them up right now. So This right here, just set up for the thumbnail. This most likely is going to be the thumbnail right there. But we ran into a problem. We got everything ready to cook. We're getting all excited about to eat these fish. Start cleaning them. But we literally don't even have a lighter. So we're out here trying to figure out how to set something on fire. Got good little cold burn in there what if you put that lighter fluid on that paper and then put the cigarette lighter on it so now we're in business it took a little while but we managed to get it started so I'm about to clean this catfish right now if you guys want to see an in-depth video of how to clean catfish I actually posted one right here there's a link if you guys click that you'll see it today I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet catfish Two boneless fillets that are ready for cooking. And that was a full demonstration I just showed you guys on how to fillet a catfish. See you outdoors. And I was only 13 while I filmed it, so don't laugh too hard if you watch it, but it has great information on how to clean a catfish and over a million views, so you guys go ahead and check it out if you want to see a full in-depth video on it. But I'm going to clean up this catfish and the other thing we're going to start cooking ASAP. Good. Do they usually bleed that color? This ain't a barbecue without the onions. Where the onions at? Even though I don't like them, but where are they at? Do it. Just gonna set them side by side. We don't got a lot of water out here, so all we're gonna do is take this ice water we had them sitting in, dunk them in there, shake them around really quick, wash them off. There's the bluegill. Here's the catfish fillet. Heck yeah, I'm hungry. Favorite. Nice catfish fillet. I haven't eaten nothing It's gonna taste good. Well, first thing going in here is gonna be these tomatoes. I'm gonna cut them pretty big so you can actually pick them up with the forks we got. And those are gonna go in there. We're gonna scatter them around pretty well. Onions going in there. We don't need a whole lot of onion. This onion breaks apart too. So when you put this in there, keep in mind that the onion's gonna break apart. So you're not gonna need a whole lot, especially from a big onion like that. So right now we're just evenly spreading out all these seasonings, not really seasonings, but all the, the onions and the tomatoes right now. Just putting them pretty evenly over this fish. Next is gonna be this lemon. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a whole lemon in here. Just put a healthy dosage of lemon. You can go ahead and pick out these seeds after you pour it. Now we're going to add butter. This half a stick of butter is what's going to make it work out amazing. I'm actually going to just do this so it can spread out a little more evenly. So I'm going to keep it very simple with seasonings. All we're going to be using is garlic salt and black pepper. Boom. That's it. All we're going to do is do a healthy little dosage of garlic salt. I don't know if I said that the first time but Garlic salt here, good little dosage of that. I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to this black pepper, pop her open, and a little healthy dosage of black pepper in there. As you guys can see, we made a simple little bowl kind of structure here that we put everything in, and I just get some aluminum foil and just cover it. So this is all the goodness in it. It's a, pretty much the final product here. Just lay this on top of it, and then it should be done, I'd say probably about 10, 15 minutes. Senior's plate, Senior made that one. I made this plate, 
And there's Julian's plate. <laughs> mm. This was like deliciousness. Can't have a barbecue without watermelon, so I'm already cutting it up. Just bought one of these little ones really quick. She's gonna cut a couple slices out of one. Now Juju wants to redo his plate. Let's see how he does. I made it into a circle like an actual plate. Ooh, he's making a bowl now. Trying to hold up the juice. It's a, a bowl. plate. It's a plate. <laughs> oh, a plate. I made it into a circle plate, box. not a box. All right, guys, who do you think did the best plate? Be honest. Comment down below. I think I did the best. I did the best. Comment on me. Comment on me. <laughs> How does it taste? A little warm. No, I can't. Sorry. Right. It's not that bad. I've had better, but. You can tell I sat in a truck in 105 degrees all day long, but it's still good. Pretty good. It's filling. It smells amazing. Looks amazing. Smells amazing. Now, there you go. You got yourself a meal right there, folks. Mm hmm. So this is the final product here. Uh, you guys can do this recipe with just about any fish in general. We just scrounged some stuff up really quick and it worked. Now it's time to dig in. Go ahead, dude, come on. All right, so the fish, when I open this up, one definite way to tell fish is done right here. You can see it just falls apart. It's nice and flaky when the fish just falls apart like that in a little piece is super easily without me even trying, you know it's done. So also all these tomatoes in here are real soft. You can't miss out on those, to be honest. One of my favorite parts. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig into this fish now. We were gonna do a taste test, but Drew already cleaned his plate. <laughs> you see, I'm still building mine up. He just, he's trying to re-add to it to, to do the taste test, but I haven't even tasted it yet. So, here's my first bite. That's pretty good right there. Um, Catfish, you can, once you start eating a lot of fish, you can kind of tell the different tastes of fish. I know this is catfish because I've eaten a lot of fish in my time, but that's really good right there. Once again, awesome recipe. I've cooked a lot of fish like this before. Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with it, to be honest. And um, also, if you guys are big into like onions and tomatoes and stuff, these things come out super soft. You can tell they're really soft. These tomatoes are like falling apart. Honestly, these are just some of my favorite parts. I like this just as much as I like the fish, to be honest. Awesome, but right here, if you guys haven't tried cooking fish like this, no matter what fish it is, I'm telling you guys, it turns out awesome. And uh, here's even this little bluegill here, that big bluegill caught. Once again, awesome. Now you can also tell the difference between textures of fish like I was getting into. What do you think? I think it's delicious. I was done with my plate already. Jeez, he's already done with two plates just about. Mm. Ate the whole thing by himself. And it's that <laughs> easy just to make it out here. You guys saw, we caught it in front of you guys. We cooked it right in front of you guys. We almost didn't, it was almost a failed catch and cook because we didn't have a lighter. Uh, we managed to scrounge something up and start a fire, but awesome, awesome recipe. If you guys recommend a species of fish you wanna see me cook or a recipe you want me to use, go ahead and comment that down below. If there's any crazy recipes out there, I might try them also. It'd just be fun. I'm always into new recipes, new things to cook. And I uh, highly recommend you guys try something new too. But other than that, I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you outdoors. And I'll see you outdoors. Eat them tomatoes.